Hey guys, this is me, I'm the 6151 and today I'm going to show you how to make a telescope which will have a magnification of about 6 to 7x well, I haven't really figured out the magnification yet because I still need to find the focal length of one of the lenses that I have I know the focal length of the others so I've seen a lot of videos on the internet people do make telescopes and they don't really teach you the basics or tell you how the magnification and telescopes work so we're going to talk about that as we're going to make the telescope so let's get started alright guys so these are the materials that we're going to use to make our telescope now the one we're making is called a refractor telescope it basically consists of an objective lens and we'll use this lens this uh, convex lens for the objective lens and another small lens for the eyepiece now I do not know the focal length of this lens but I do know the focal length of this the focal length of this small lens is uh, 14 millimeters now we'll be using these containers because uh, they fit snug into each other you don't necessarily have to use these you can use others that actually fit snug into each other but we can use this because this is pretty good when we're actually trying to focus the image so they'll do the job really well you also need an exacto knife for cutting or if you do not have an exacto knife due to safety purpose or you know your parents are not allowing you you can use a cutter you know every household has this i'm pretty sure so yeah these are the basic materials and we'll basically get started right, guys so the first thing we'll do now is before cutting any of the containers is just get a rough estimation of how long the total length of the telescope would be just by doing that so you hold this objective lens in front of you and then you hold this eyepiece in front of you and you take the uh, eyepiece back unless uh, until the image you see in the objective lens is clear that's how you basically uh, you know do the estimation and after that I figured out that the, the length I need is uh, well half a meter you know half a meter will do so I basically cut the, this container uh, from here, so I cut it in half. So let's do that. There we go. So as you guys saw, I actually used this coping saw, you know, this is just a quicker way of doing it. You could use a cutter or an exacto knife, but this just does the job really well and gives you a clean cut. After that, you can just sand it and make the edge smooth. And let's try cutting the other container now. Alright guys, so we'll be cutting this part for the eyepiece. And the external diameter of this lens is 16mm. So I'll be going with that. And well, you know, the plastic molding, it has actually done the job for me. It has given me the center point where I can actually make the hole. So I will actually set it to 0.8cm. Uh, because that's the half of 1.6 and there we go right we have this and now we can basically cut this and fit the eyepiece in guys we'll be cutting this now the plastic is a bit hard so it will take a bit of time but do it carefully and neatly you know you don't really need to you don't really want to mess this up otherwise this will affect the image that you see on the telescope so i'm doing it as slow as i can and as precisely as i can although it is a bit hard and it can hurt you, you know, if it... We're almost there, halfway through. Alright, as you can see, I made a bit of a mess here, but uh, I'll deal with this, it's fine. Guys, after carefully sanding this with the sanding paper, I finally got to fit the lens in, and basically I glue it in, and then work on putting the other lens Alright guys, so the next part is actually pretty simple. So I already got the lens out of uh, magnifying glass. I actually use this because I have three of these, you know, just lying around. So now, this step is actually pretty easy. You just put the lens over here and good thing it actually fits all of it, you know. The diameter of the lens is more or less equal to the diameter of the container. I'll, let me just clean this lens. And now basically I have, you know, these tapes that we can use. So I think I'll go with the blue one, you know, blue one looks good that's done looks pretty good and right, so this is what we have right now we have the objective lens and we have the subjective lens now I might have cut this a bit short so I'll cut this a bit long from here it will be easier to focus so 
I'll cut it from here and All right guys, so after trial and error, I have uh, figured out that the proper image that I'm getting is right here when the eyepiece is right here. So this is when I'm getting the better image. So I will actually have to reduce the length of that uh, container and this will give me a proper image. So let's do that now and cut All right, that. guys, so after cutting this and I have the objective lens and the subjective lens, I'll actually put this in here on this part and then basically glue it and then you know as you can see there is a bit of difference so I'll just add some tape and make this so it's actually snug and there we have our telescope all right guys so this is what I have done that's the lens properly glued in and uh, well I had another piece of this so I basically cut this from here and then fitted it here and now it fits really snug and this tape is basically the focal length of the eyepiece uh, this is like 14 millimeters in length so after I have this I can actually figure out the focal length of this lens so I'll try to fit it in properly and now I'll see where the image focuses and where the image focuses that will be the focal length of the lens and it will give me a mag magnification so I'll test that out and then tell you guys and we'll talk about my magnification and how this telescope works so I have now calculated the focal length of the objective piece and this is the arrangement where I'm getting a proper sharp image and uh, the focal length of the objective lens is uh, 158 millimeters. So this is how the magnification works. The magni uh, to calculate the magnification, the basic equation is uh, the focal length of the objective lens is divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. So now we can properly determine the focal length of this, which would give us, a, let's see, it's 158 divided by 14 millimeter. And this yields a magnification of about 11.5. 3x but we will go with a you know a whole number so it's 11x so this telescope is actually 11 times the normal magnification and there you have it that's actually a very powerful magnification you know for this small and very cheap telescope so this is the diagram of the refractor telescope that we have so basically this is where the light enters and the lens refracts the light to a focal point and then where you have this focal point you add another lens with the focal point matching where the focal point of the other lens is and this gives you the magnification as the refractor telescope magnifies the image via its focal length and one problem with the telescope is that it does not refract all the wavelengths of light so you do get a bluish uh, bluish pattern on at the end of the object that you are seeing and one more thing is that the image you see over here is inverted what you can do to tackle that problem is add another lens the, uh, with the same focal length that will invert the image back to the proper image so you don't have to see the image upside down I'm not going to do that with this telescope because I went with a very cheap alternative so yeah guys if you have any questions about this ask me in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to subscribe thank you